Good morning. You're you're up. Let's go ahead and work here and let's see where the Lord is going to take us today. As we say, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in a native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galatians welcomed him, since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, and they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana and Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down to heal his son who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus had said to him and left. While the man was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that the boy would live. He asked them what, when he began to recover. They told him, The fever left him yesterday about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time, Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was a second sign Jesus did when he came into Galilee from Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. You know, there's a lot packed in here. The bottom line is the official son is sick. And the the official pursues God. He's turning to God. Sometimes it's a mystery. I mean, sometimes we feel like, well, how come this prayer is heard and how come this one isn't? The bottom line here, what we learn here is you need to pursue God. It's like I always say at healing services, you go to the divine physician first. You're, he is your primary care doctor. You, and out of that, you go to your other doctors. So I'm not saying don't go to the doctors or hospital and stuff like that. But always go to God first. He's your divine primary care doctor. So you bring your, your needs to him. What the official shows here is that just because Jesus says something to him, to test his faith, he still pursues Jesus. He still brings his needs to Jesus. We need to keep our, bring our petitions to Jesus. No matter what's going on, no matter how bleak things look, we need to keep pursuing Jesus and bring those petitions to him. He always shows up one way or another. I've seen so many things happen. Sometimes it wasn't a physical healing, but there's always some kind of healing that takes place, either spiritual or emotional or physical. Sometimes it's a combination of all three. And again, so lots of times, I've had one guy who had colon cancer stage four, and he had this amazing emotional healing that connected him intimately to God. And he died in such peace. And again, so, well, there was no healing. He didn't, God didn't heal. Yeah, there was amazing healing that had happened emotionally in him where he, he was able to connect to God face to face and find peace. And so sometimes the healing that we pursue isn't, doesn't always show up the way. That's part of the mystery. The, the, this, this reading shows us that God is like a mystery. It, he doesn't always show up how we think he should, but he always shows up. And again, so pay attention, 
keep pursuing his heart. And remember, it's a mystery. You got to just keep your faith in him. As we say, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying your life by the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a great week. I'll see you next Monday.